How does it feel? Um, the I mean, last fossil of the day. It's a lot of less stress in my life, that's for sure. But it's um, it's a really strange part of the process because it's you're talking about something so serious and so sad, and yet trying to make light of it. And I've been really happy of having this role here, of sort of bringing attention to these horrible things, but in a way that actually engages people. And how does it feel doing it in the Moon Palace? Well, it feels like you've been promoted. Um, and I'm glad we're doing it here because there's no one in Messe right now. It kind of feels like it should have always been here. Yeah, um, you can tell that to the Secretariat. It's true, I mean, this, this, this is a great place and um, I think it was sort of part of this, uh, you know, the segregation that took place of trying to keep uh, civilians away from the negotiations. Um, and how come, how, how do you feel getting it all done uh, after everything that happened a couple of hours ago? Um, I mean, we were actually supposed to be presenting at 6.15 on those stairs and that was exactly sort of the heat of the moment and we kind of took a call and we're like well let's not do it and then we we're like oh let's just wait a little bit and I really wanted to do it because I mean I saw potential for really you know using this as a stance to you know sort of give people the chance to cheer for like and support the people that have just been dragged out of here um, so I actually you know, I, I did really spoke from the heart a lot today, and it was the last time. So, I think uh, I, th I think uh, people were worried about if Younger would be upset that this was kind of taken away from it. But I think everyone's going to be happy because I think it really helped amplify their message. And it's good to end with the with the young people on a good note. Yeah, and I, I think I mean that's something I've been trying to do this whole time in the process of just uh, like keeping spirits high. And I've been focusing a lot on the outside marches and just this idea of. You know, we, we all need to be doing activism for the next 60, 70 years of our lives. So how do we, how do we keep that momentum up and keep that energy high enough that, um, you know, we'll, we'll be out here in 50 years, um, which is what we have to do. Our generation's got, we've got a full life contract. We've got a full life sentence. So, so what's in the future for Fossil of the Day? Or what, what do you do now? Do you go on holiday for a bit? I'm going to Cuba. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, uh, time to... Run away from all the fans. Yeah, run away from the UNFCCC and go see some communism um, and, and ch check out some different scenarios. But the fossil happens at the intercessionals, so um, you know, ho hopefully I'll get the chance to do it again there because I really enjoy doing it. And um, it's uh, it's crazy. I, I don't think people know this, but we get the text 25 minutes before. I was show. going to ask you actually who writes the text. The text gets written by kind of depending on whose country wins, it's sort of a can member. I thought it was you, I was really impressed. No, I don't, I thank the, thank the Lord I don't have to, uh, I, I don't write any of that. But it is an incredibly tight process in that we, we literally get handed the text. Yesterday I hadn't read the text before I presented. Um, so it ends up being a lot of improv and a lot of um, off the cuff, but people are really supportive and really warm about it. So it's, I think they realize that it doesn't have to be a smooth, perfect show. So. You've done a great job. Thank you very much. Any last words? Um, well, thank you guys for filming it. Um, without it, that would all be lost. And uh, now we can share it with the rest of the world. And a lot of bad stuff is happening here, They're, like daily. Um, and the process is moving incredibly slow at a time when we really need action. But, um, but this is a process. I mean... This is a, a space where every country in the world has a voice, and, and I do respect that, um, despite the, the problems with the process. And I don't know, right now, I mean, right now something big could happen, so let's hope that that, that youth action that happened a little bit earlier um, put some fire into their bellies and that we'll actually get something significant and good coming out of this talk. So what do you do when you're not fossil of the day, Mr. Fossil of the day? Oh, nothing. I, I just think about fossil and think about what I could say and what I could do. Um, no, I'm a, an artivist, an act, arts activist. I do uh, mass mobilizations trainings for uh, workshop, uh, for marches. I do uh, creative communication workshops and I work with 350.org, which is an incredible global network. Um, so wherever I end up going, any of these projects I end up doing, there is this really strong climate network everywhere. So I've been really lucky to see that all these different places from, from the Sami in northern Sweden to Mongolia uh, to, to Europe and the United States and now Mexico, seeing that there is a really vibrant, strong community um, that really wants a safe limit of CO2 in the atmosphere at 350 parts per million.